What is it about human nature which makes us curious about death? I think it's one of those things which one can say, apart from possibly taxation, it's what happens to all of us. But also I think people, there is a certain morbid fascination in people that something the other, um, whether it's being brought up on sort of horror stories and things like that, that, dr that people are fundamentally interested in it. It's a fundamentally human thing. Uh, the public perception of ancient Egypt is somewhat bizarre at times and mummies and related things always sort of loom large. So really an Egyptian display without some kind of mummy case or something related like that is almost unheard of. The basic concept is that they should be dealt with res with respect. Um, that's what it ultimately boils down to. And the display should be done in a way that is not sort of sensationalising or inviting people to gawp. At the bottom line, the car is an essence which is created at the same time as your own conception. So it's something which is conceived with you, but only actually has a separate role after death. Providing the body isn't actually destroyed, that's where things start getting a little bit more problematic for the car. Providing the body is still there, it can still act as its med the mediator between the worlds quite happily. But the idea really was that while you remained on Earth and you, you never died, providing there was something of you left, ideally the body, if you're not your body, a statue or a relief. If not a statue or a relief, it could be merely your name. It was only when you had been forgotten by everybody that you were truly dead. The unwrapping of Harum Kanazi in Bristol was really not a planned thing in the sense the problem was that in the hot summer of 1976 he started going off. His, his car, bar and all the various other sort of fist spiritual bits probably took the view that he got away quite lightly and actually the mentioning of his name so many times and now there's a whole book about, two books about him, that he probably takes the view that it probably wasn't such a bad thing after all. Perversely perhaps, actually putting somebody on in, a, in a glass case with their name written on it actually is doing them a lot of good in the afterlife. So that's something which I always point out to people who've got any problems with displaying mummies or related material, that actually publicity was sort of the oxygen of the afterlife. 